Also, okay, I... As much as I enjoy this game, this is one level I am not going to defend, because this is not great. Okay, so one thing I, I, I'll, I'll give, I'll give this a little bit of credit here. This is the first um, s uh, 3D Sonic game to have like a pinball table, uh, like integrated into like a platforming stage, if if you will, because uh, SA One had Casinopolis, uh, but it was just a regular pinball table, and it was it wasn't really connected to any sort of platforming or anything like that. Whereas this game. Uh, makes a bunch of pinball tables that you have to traverse your way through to get to the next area and whatnot, and th that's unique. Like I'll, I'll give it that. It it's, hasn't been done before in the series, and it's um, an interesting idea. The problem with it is that these controls for the pinball table do not work well for trying to go up the up the pinball table, and. You kind of just have to struggle and fight the controls to move on half the time, and yeah, it's not great. It's not so bad for me now because of experience and whatnot, but um, if I'd have to pick, this would probably be my least favorite level in the whole game, uh, just because it's really awkward to get through, and the pinball, <laughs> the pinball controls are just kind of bad, <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, this is- I don't hate the level necessarily, but this is definitely my least favourite. It's not fun- it's not really fun to, uh, fight the controls in this. And sometimes you just get stuck in one area for, like, minutes at a time, just because you're just trying so hard to fight the controls, get through the- f get to the flippers so you can bounce up to the top of the pinball table and stuff like that, and you- the game just won't let you, uh, proceed. It's kind of annoying. And, um, I don't know. There's one thing that the second, the level after this the, does that makes it a lot more fun to play, and I actually kind of like the next level, is that, for the most part, there are some instances where you still have to go up to the top of the pinball table, which is still annoying there, too. And I'm sorry I'm talking to, I'm sorry I'm talking over Knuckles with his really important dialogue, but whatever. Um, uh, one thing they do in the next level is that they they make it so the you're going down the pinball table for the mo uh, for the majority of the time so you don't have to worry about fighting the controls to get up the pinball table necessarily you're just going down like trying to get um bingo chips or, and whatnot which is a lot more fun to do and it works a lot better works a lot better with these controls than ha uh, having to go up um, the pinball tables, so, yeah. Also, those are interesting enemies right there, the, uh, weird UFO-like guys. If a character goes under them, they, they get trapped and you have to save them, and they become unplayable for a little while, like, until you do that. Alright, there we go. Also, that's an interesting uh, gimmick in the in the pin like the slot machines here too, where if you get um like multiple characters in the slot machine, you you'll actually get more rings, or you'll loot you'll actually get more rings than you were if you just did it with like say Sonic for instance. But at the same time, if you get like Eggman, then you'll lose more rings than you would otherwise. So you have to you have to be careful, and I. I don't know, I kind of, I think that's a kind of nice risk-reward si uh, system. That was a weird camera view. And, um, oh. Okay, well, at least that wasn't a, that wasn't a death, but that's one of the instances of, um, the, uh, what was it? One of the instances of the uh, light speed dash not working. Thankfully, that was just a shortcut and not, like, a bottomless pit, but still, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, you, if you go there, you'll um, get a, a bunch. You, you, it's basically you, you'll get like um, a chance, the chance to 
play around with a bunch of slot machines, get a bunch of rings and whatnot. And um, yeah, there's not much else to say about it really. But yeah, that's Casino Park. Thankfully, it's not too long, but yeah, it's it can be a struggle. But now we're going, going to the second and thankfully the mu much more enjoyable casino level, uh, Bingo Highway, which, uh, again, they do a simple thing of making it so you go down the pinball tables instead of up. And it makes that little change just makes it so much more enjoyable to play. Because you don't have to worry about, like, just fighting the controls as much. And again, th th there are still, still some instances where you still have to do that, but it's not as apparent and also again the, the music here is music here is great like uh it, it fits the whole bingo um kind of aesthetic it, it fits the whole neon kind of design and again it's sonic so it has to be some at least somewhat fast paced um oh crap oh, this it's fine other keys um but yeah it has to be fast paced because fierce um, dang it. Yeah, these are introducing some new enemy types here. Uh, the, the flashlight flying dudes. If they see you, then they'll, uh, they'll, uh, send out some enemies for you to face. And, yeah, if you just kill them without them seeing you, then you can just not have that happen. So, yeah. But yeah, you just get, bing if you get a bingo, then, uh, you'll get, uh, a bunch of rings. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah! That is actually really hard to do. I'm surprised. I, I'm amazed I did that with Team Sonic. The the one that is... That has it, the uh, team that has it the best with that is uh, Chaotix. Because they have warp things. Uh, where they can just... They, they can just warp to the beginning of a bingo section. And just keep retrying to get a bingo. You don't even need to do that for the mission in this stage, but, you know, it's a thing. Okay, this is, this is probably the worst part of, the worst part of the level, uh, because this is one of those instances where you do have to try and get to the top, and it's just really awkward to do that. There we go. It didn't take too long, but still. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, I get it. Okay, so what, what he means is that the blue versions of those robots just trap uh, the character for a little while, whereas the gold one actively, like, takes him away. And the, uh, the as far as I know, the only way to get them back is to use a Team Blast, which just brings the characters back automatically, uh, which is, I don't know, makes sense, <laughs> I guess. Uh, well, it doesn't, but whatever. But yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's really hard to get all those, but, um... I guess there's one thing I, I should talk about is that the, the whole, like, leveling up system, because this is the only game that has this, or something like this, uh, where if you get red, blue, or yellow orbs, uh, you level up that specific character type, and um, the more level ups you get, well, you get, freeze the max, but as you get um, level ups, you'll, your attacks will become stronger. Um, so, for instance, uh, Sonic's home and attack will become much more powerful on level two and on like level three. And there's also the benefit of um, uh, his level three home and attack has wind properties, in the sense that stuff you you'd have to uh, normally have to do the tornado move to to pull off. Uh, you can just home an attack and it'll do the same thing. So, for instance, stuff like uh, having to uh, do a tornado or a rocket excel uh, to um, act, uh, go on the um, the poles, spin on the poles. If you have level three um, uh, speed formation, you can just home and attack the pole, and it will just activate this. The, the uh, it will just make you go up the pole like normal. So, 
There, there's other be like speed benefits to having level like higher levels. Um, uh, what and one one of them is the fact that you have a really broken thunder shoot on level two levels two and three, where you just demolish most enemies. Um, like like some enemies like the shield guys are gonna be more be beneficial to take out with speed or power because de well depending on what your level is for them. Um, because there's two types of shield shield mooks. There's ones that have like just one big shield, and then there's others that have like one like a shield that kind of d gets destroyed in in increments um and um is you how i get yeah like like you're saying there um how i just use a home and attack and the shield flew off that's what i mean by wind properties so yeah speed speed is generally the best option for uh to get rid of the shield guys but if you're not at level 3, then it's best to use a, a power formation. Um, well, okay. Let me rephrase that. Um, it's best to use the speed... Um, it's best to use the power formation for the shield guys that have, like, one big shield that will get destroyed. Um, because the ones that get destroyed... Okay, that was close. <laughs> uh, the ones that get destroyed in increments take... A lot longer to break with uh, power, so you're better better off using speeds tornado move to get the shield off that way, or you can just ignore them. Like most of the time, you can just ignore the enemies. You don't have to fight them. But I don't know. I find the combat sat uh, satisfying in this game. It's very simple, uh, and uh, y you basically just have to press B uh, to do B or it's like B or A. Uh, Homing attacks, do uh, slam dunk moves, or Knuckles' normal ground combo, and stuff like that. But, just something about the way the, the moves work, they're so, they're really quick and satisfying, satisfying, they, I, I don't know, they're fun to use, they're satisfying to use, they're, they're quick and satisfying to use, um, they're simple, but effective, um, and, it keep they keep float the flow going, um, but yeah. <sighs> All right, I'm it's still going good. All right, cool. I like how they're like just waiting a little bit before we can get the speed boost. Yeah, you d don't bother trying to uh, mash B because that is not the optimal way to do this. You're gonna go much slower, and it's gonna mess. It it's gonna kill your farm. So just don't bother. Oh, man, it, it does feel really weird being alone for a commentary for for this long because I, I again, I haven't done this in quite a while. Man, what were they doing all this time? Because we've only gone through like three zones and it's already been two days. Like, what the heck? Like, did it, did it take them, like, a full day to find a Grand Metropolis and another day to find Casino Park? Like, what the heck? I, I, I don't know. Again, the story doesn't matter that much in this game, so I'll let it slide. But it is a little bit weird still. Alright, so this is the third and final variant of a, of a, boss, of a boss fight in this game. Um, well, not, not counting the, the final boss. But, um, the, um... This is uh, basically a enemy gauntlet where you have to fight waves and waves of enemies and some people might find it tedious but I actually really enjoy it because again I find the simple
the effect of combat satisfying. Um, oh, oh, right, that's, that's another thing I forgot to talk about. Um, each team uh, has, well, before I talk about that, um, I, I don't know, I, I enjoy the combat, I just find it satisfying, fun and, fun and satisfying. Uh, it's simple to grasp and has some, uh, you can do some cool tricks to, to, uh, make things go by a bit faster. And, um, whatnot. But, um, what was I saying? Uh, e each team has a special, uh, secondary, like, phase to the, um, Team blast. So like a. So like when when, so when t uh, Team Sonic and their team blast, for instance, uh, if you press if you jump and press B, uh, with uh, Sonic, you'll um actually do a light speed attack kind of attack um where you'll just fly like just speed through the enemies and like just kill them basically on impact. Um, and, like, the other characters have similar things, too. Uh, Team Dark has a, ha, uh, stops time for a little while, uh, and whatnot. So, I, I, I kind of like that. It, it gives them a little bit more of a reason to use them. I think I used that too early. It gives the, gives you more reason to use them rather than just a screen nuke, and yes, I did. Wait, are you serious? Dang. Did he really not get affected by that? That's disappointing. I wonder if, if if the level affects it too. I never tested that. Yeah, for flying... For, fairly leveled up fly, uh, fly is just ridiculously broken. It, it can't destroy some enemies, like the, the really... Um, the, like the the metal guys, like those guys, still had to be taken out with uh, power. But for the most part, you can just cheese through the enemies with um with um tails, really. So yeah, that's the thing. But yeah, casino zone is finished. Man, it's been so long since like, since I've gone through a like a Sonic game start to finish, but like going for a playthrough and like having to do like commentary on the fly, it really goes to show like how um far well fast paced is one word to put it, but like how quickly these go by, like man. <laughs> I don't really don't really know how to explain it, but this this game is just flying by for me. I guess it has something to do. Well, I do have a lot of ex experience with this game, and yeah, speed run trick. That is kind of scary to do, but that's why I'd use flying. Yeah, this is the level that uh, is basically all based on rail grinding, and uh, if you. If you're careful with when you switch rails, it's not too bad, but it is still really finicky. Um, so, you know. Okay, th this is a cool trick you can do. So, if, if I can just get rid of these enemies so they don't get in the way. Nope. Okay, I'm I'm a little bit out of practice with stuff like this, so you'll have to bear with me a little bit. There we go. Again, it's stuff like that you can use... You can use the Rocket Excel to use, do shortcuts like that, which I'm pretty sure are unintentional, but at the same time, I don't care because it's, again, it's satisfying to pull off, and uh, it's uh, it's part of why I like playing Sonic games, because you can pull off stuff like that. So, you know, you, you're rewarded for experimenting and being risky and making the level go by a bit faster, although that probably wasn't that much faster because I was kind of failing a little bit, but that's what happens when you haven't played a Sonic game in months. <laughs> but hey, for 
not playing a, ga a Sonic game in months, let alone Heroes. Um, I'm not doing too badly, if I do say so myself. Because this is one of the my favourite Sonic games to um, just pick up and just do a playthrough of. Uh, because we've all... I don't know, again, I just really like the team formation gimmick this game has going on. Um, it's satisfying to do a lot of cool tricks. And it has this simple to play, uh, easy to pick, to pick up and play, but... Not necessarily hard to master, because the, um, it isn't really hard to master. Um, it's more so difficult to learn, like, tech, like, speed techniques, if you will. Because, again, they can be really risky, and you can cost, it can cost you a life if you're careless and don't, like, uh, and you just do it willy-nilly without bothering. Uh... This, this part always kind of felt wonky to me. Um, but yeah. This is the... I, I will say, I, this is definitely not one of my favourite tracks. It's honestly a bit kind of forget, forgettable for me. Uh, so, yeah, I don't have much to say about this track. It's not bad. It, it's, I mean, it, it's fine enough, but it just doesn't really do much for me. And you also have the, uh, wait, well, have that infamous line, but you also have, um, the, um, wait, yeah, <laughs> that was accidental, but I'll take it, uh, uh, you also have, um, switches in these levels where, uh, you have to, yeah, a specific switch, and it'll activate, like, a special coloured rail to, for you to move on. And there's also just the gimmick of these trains. They also make a really loud noise. But yeah, if there's anything I can suggest to make the, uh, the rail switching a little bit more safe, is that before you do it, let go of the accelerate button, because I find that... M like 90, 9 out of 10 times, it, it, um, doing that makes it so you, uh, oh, okay, didn't get this, didn't get the one up, but it's fine, um, 9 times out of 10, I find if you stop accelerating before you switch a rail, or, or crouching, whatever you want to call it, uh, you tend to be safe, I find, so, yeah, that's one, uh, one thing to make things a bit more bearable on yourself. Yeah, that was a pretty good run. Alright. Now this is a track I do really like. Very, not one of my favourites necessarily, that was, that was <laughs> a bad drop. Uh, but it's pretty decent. Uh, but this one is a little bit less um, um, rail, rail grind depen dependent. It still is, but uh, it takes a bit of a back, back seat. Uh, and it has um, these like train sequences and uh, whatnot instead, and also these capsules, which is an important plot point for Team Dark that we'll get to. All right, let's get the key. Oh man, I, I remember as a kid, I thought I had to go to that pyramid-looking thing. I didn't actually 
No, you could, like, use power to- I, I didn't know it was telling me to, like, use power to break the- break that grate. But yeah, that's what you- that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just go down there, uh, and, and then you get sent to another area. Yeah, there are there are some like uh, little puzzle parts, if you will. Um, dang it, it's uh, nothing too crazy, but it's it's gen it's usually stuff like oh hit these switches in this specific order and stuff like that, and then you can move on. Yeah, it's definitely not like a Zelda ga game or anything, but it's little puzzles, a little make you have to think a little bit, but not a lot. <laughs> Alright. Dang it. Yeah, there's also... I haven't talked about this yet, but I the way I've been getting into these special stages are through the keys. And essentially, essentially they're, they're scattered throughout the levels. The first stage in an... Okay, I'm just being careless. That's like the first time I'm gonna... And like, and only time I'm gonna be able to use that as an offensive maneuver. Um, because if you have... If you're on power formation, and your teammates are like... Out business. I don't know if, if they're like out for the count for, or whatever. Um, you you can uh, do a secondary attack with the flying formation, uh, where the tails and rouge like uh, uh, there's a key in here, right? I don't remember, but uh, they do a secondary attack, um, uh, which you'll probably rarely see because. Most of the time, being flying formation, you're going to have the other two characters out. So, you have to be flying formation and be standing on the ground with the character. And, yeah, that's not going to be very common. Yeah, but this happens like about two or three times in the stage. You just get shot out of a cannon and you just get a bunch of... You get to grab a bunch of points. It's pretty satisfying. And triangle dive. Yeah, so some of them, some of those things you can break, but it's pretty selective. I don't know if I ever finished it, finished saying this, but um, the the key thing, yeah, you have to keys. The the keys guide throughout the levels. I don't know how many there are in a level, but um. Yeah, you need them to get to the special stage, and if you get hit, you lose them, so, um, you have to be careful. If you have a barrier, though, then you'll, that can help, and it doesn't, you don't, if you lose one, it doesn't necessarily mean you can't, uh, you won't be able to get to the special stage, because, again, they're scattered throughout the levels, so, chances are you'll find another one eventually. Okay, there we go. And here we go. I'm going to go on this uh, cart thing. Oh, oh, um, okay. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't think... Uh, I think... Uh, I think I was supposed to die if I didn't hit the switch, but I'll take it. I don't think that was meant to happen. Oh, yeah, that that always feels a little bit. Oof. Let me try. 
being needing to land on that. And that's a section down there for Team Chaotix exclusively, I exclusively, I think. I could be wrong about that. I'm not sure. Yeah, the only other time when you, you really have to fly on the ground is uh, when you're... Um... Oh crap, I guess I'm going to miss special stage this time. Um... Is when you're doing the free switches thing. And here we go. Boom. Okay, come on. Nice. Yeah, pretty fun level. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's interesting, like, I always come down to the philosophy that I don't care for levels long as long as I enjoy playing it and keeps me en engaged throughout and I don't feel exhausted or uh, what like general things like that and that's why I feel with this game levels are long uh, at least for Sonic standards um, but I generally just don't care because I'm having so much fun playing the game and it Again, this game just has been flying by for me, like, I, these levels, yeah, they've been going on for like six, seven minutes, but at the same time, I don't, I don't care because I'm enjoying playing the game, uh, the levels are fun to play through, I'm not really thinking about the length until I see the, the time results, like, I don't know, that, that's my philosophy, I, I, I don't subscribe to, the, to, like, the idea of, oh, it's, it, like, Sonic levels have to be, like, this specific length. Like, no, I don't necessarily think that. I think levels should be, like, at least three minutes long. Um, well, it, it depends, really. It, 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 it can vary, but, uh, I, I prefer it, I prefer it when levels tend to be on the slightly longer side, because then they can flesh them out a bit more, and get, you can get more out, more out of the level design, I find. And, um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, the hitbox in this thing is a bit weird. Alright, come on. Murder. <laughs> Thunder shoot is just broken, dude. But yeah, I basically said all I need to do about the uh, length thing, just, again, if I enjoy playing it, and it keeps me engaged, I don't care how long the stage is, really. 